Hello, welcome to my channel. You are the one where we talk all things lower of assumption. And today I want to share with you one of the most important ingredients that you need when it comes to manifesting. So stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi. I am a qualified life coach. I'm an author and I'm super passionate about the amazing teachings of the law of assumption as originally taught by the great American mystic Neville Goddard. It is the stories that we tell that create our life. So if you want to change any part of your life, it helps to know how to change the story. And if you would like to create the most amazing life, which I'm assuming you do, it helps to know how to tell the most amazing stories. And that's where these teachings can really help. And that is why I am here. I want to help you to tell the most amazing story so that you can experience the most amazing reality and have the most amazing life. And if you would like support with this, I am available for coaching. I have personal one-to-one -one coaching. I have online coaching and I have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling all of that. You'll find the details in the box below this video or at my website, youaretheone.com.au. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, today we are talking about a really important ingredient that you want to have when you are manifesting. Now, let's go back to the beginning. When it comes to law of assumption, consciousness is the one and only reality. Reality that you experience with your physical senses is the solidification, is that a word, uh, of what it is that you're doing in consciousness. So reality is reflecting back everything you're doing in consciousness. So your focus is in consciousness. Now, when it comes to manifesting, what we have to be able to do, what we are learning and training ourselves to do is to take our attention off reality and create the scenes of what we want to experience in our imagination and then holding those long enough for them to slip into our subconscious, which is the movie projector that then projects that onto the screens of our mind in physical form and then we experience it with our physical senses. Many of us, not knowing we are the creators and cause of our reality, we are allowing our reality to inform consciousness and then we end up creating more of the same. So we're letting reality dictate what goes into our consciousness and then slips into our subconscious, which then gets pushed out and reflected back. And then what that does, we go, oh, well, that's the way things are. And then we just create an assumption that then creates more of that. So what we want to be able to do is to take a step back and go, okay, this is what's happening in my reality. I would like to experience something different so I'm going to create a scene. I'm going to envision the scene that implies I already have what it is I want that I want because the brain can't tell the difference between what it's seeing in reality and what it's seeing in imagination. Literally does not know the difference. Does not know the difference. So you may as well be imagining the scenes of what it is you want to experience if what you're experiencing in reality is not what you want or you've had it and you want something else. There is a really important ingredient that's in, like absolutely crucial in this. And that ingredient, super simple, you've all done it, you all know, it's called relaxation. You have to be relaxed and in a state of relaxation. What I do see is that people come into these teachings, they are in a state of distress or despair. Maybe it's like it's been a breakup um, or something's happened that has led you to these teachings. And then we use these teachings as a way to kind of manipulate reality and get what we want. And then that's not the way things work. So then we become even more despairing, even more distressed because our reality isn't like, it's not doing what we want it to do. And then we blame the teachings going, these things don't work. These teachings don't work because it's, this is not like my reality is just reflecting back what I don't want. Or in fact, it's getting worse. The reason that it's really important to be relaxed with this and to bring yourself into a state of emotional and mental stability is probably like absolute priority with this. So if you are in a state of despair and distress, now's not the time to be manifesting new realities. What you want to be doing is focusing on getting yourself back to your equilibrium, getting back to a state of emotional and mental health. However you do that, if you need to reach out for support, if you need therapeutic support, if you need medical support, if you need family support, if you need like just a friend's support, doing what you need to do to get yourself back to a state where you can 
feel relaxed. Now, this is not about judging yourself for not being relaxed. Please do not take this as, oh, like I'm not relaxed, so therefore I'm doing this wrong. All I'm saying is that it is important that you are in a state of relaxation. When you're in a stressed fight or flight state, you're not manifesting, you're in survival. That is not the time to be creating new, envisioning new realities. You are, your body is believing that you are in a state of survival and it is working to create like your safety. And if you feel unsafe, that's not the time to be manifesting. So it's really important that do, you need to do whatever you need to do in order to create that feeling of being relaxed. One of the laws that Neville talks about is the law of least effort, meaning manifestation requires no effort. The effort that you're exerting is occurring in consciousness. That's the only effort that you need. Now, if you're feeling effortful, if this is feeling hard, if it's feeling difficult, you know you're off track. And then so you know that your priority needs to be to bring yourself back to a state of effortlessness, of relaxation, of peace, of calm, of harmony, of tranquility. Now, you're not going to be in that state all the time, but the more you can bring yourself into a state of relaxation, then the easier it's going to be for your, your manifestations to show up. Because as long as you're willing something to show up, I can guarantee it is not going to show up. As long as you're looking for something, it's not going to show up. As long as you're striving and forcing and trying to figure out how to get reality to do what you want, it's not going to show up. The minute, the moment that it will show up is the moment where you just drop into that relaxed state where everything is okay, everything's fine, you don't need anything or anyone. You're just like, ah. <sighs> You're like, wow, that feels good. And then boom, there it is. Have you noticed how that happens that where you've been like wanting something or willing something, that split second where you just go, oh, you know what? It's all, I'm just, I'm just like letting it, letting it go. And then boom, there it is. Make relaxation your priority, not the getting of what it is that you want, because the law of least effort implies that you don't have to do anything for your manifestation to show up. And that's the game with reality. Effortlessness is the key with manifesting, meaning as long as you're doing the work in consciousness, your reality has to organize itself to reflect it back. So you're not doing anything in reality. It's not to say that you're not taking action. You're taking action that's presented to you, but it is effortlessness. It is effortless. You're not having to do anything. You're just showing up to the steps that's being put in front of you because you've already set it up in your consciousness and now reality is reorganizing itself. And this happens when you are in the most relaxed state. So how do you get yourself into a relaxed state? Ask yourself, what helps me to feel relaxed? And, you know, maybe keep it healthy. Um, so it could be going for a walk. It could be going to a dance class. It could be patting your pet. It could be hanging out with a friend. It could be rolling in the, in the grass. It could be just walking in the grass. It could be hugging a tree. It could be going for a swim. It could be looking up at the sky. It could be closing your eyes and just taking a few deep breaths and bringing your attention into your body and into your feet and down into the ground. It could be getting into the garden, getting your hands dirty. It could be getting your paints out, doing some painting. It could be writing poetry. It could be playing an instrument. It could be just moving your body in any way it feels, like putting some music on, putting it on really loud, getting in the car and going for a drive. Just whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, you don't have to... It's just whatever it is for you that makes you feel relaxed, do that. You will be serving yourself. You'll be serving your manifestation. In fact, take all your attention off the techniques and off doing the manifesting work and just make relaxing your priority. And when you can really drop into that relaxed state, everything just starts to flow. Everything starts to move. Life is easy. Manifestations is easy. Things come in easily. So I would really recommend making relaxation and being relaxed a priority where you are calm, you're centered, you know who you are, you got it, you're taking care of yourself, you're safe, all of those things. Make that your priority and you will be serving yourself by doing so. Please remember, as always, you are the amazing creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor in your movie. Whatever you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your movie too, and you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to like, comment, and share. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.